What's up everyone? Welcome to Crypto Maximalist. Before we begin, make sure to hit the like and subscribe and then hit the real subscribe button which is the bell icon. We're posting 4 videos every day so make sure to check back every single day. We're aiming for 20k subscribers and get a deal in the description if you haven't already. This is not financial advice. Welcome to Crypto Maximalist. Let's begin. What's up guys, so just before we begin, make sure to hit the subscribe and bell icon. People aren't seeing our content and that's probably because you haven't hit the bell. Thank you again for all your support. We're so proud of the amazing community that we've built. So we're just taking a look at Polygon here and as we can see, as we said with our VChain video, it does look as though Polygon is continuing to underperform quite starkly in comparison to a lot of cryptocurrencies that we're looking at recently and holding up personally. Obviously we had this big descending wedge, we had the pump, obviously the September descending wedge as well with the ABC correction followed by that sweep of the double bottom. With the W double bottom here breaking out of our uh, descending wedge coming back up into this next level of structure where we were starting to break out here but we did have a rollover over the past few days for a lot of altcoins. Maybe people were taking profits and putting them into Bitcoin. So if we look at Bitcoin here, we're currently pumping today quite significantly. We're up to around 57.5k right now. Looking like we're having a really, really strong little run up here, as you can see. But it looks as though ETH over the past few days has actually been uh, selling off. You can see here we actually came, we were at about th uh, three thousand six hundred dollars for ETH, and it comes all the way down. It came all the way down to around three thousand, just under three thousand four hundred yesterday. It looked as though it basically just had a bit of a rollover, didn't it? We were we were doing quite well, but it seemed as though it just had a bit of a a bit of a collapse in a lot of the altcoins like this. Maybe because Bitcoin was looking strong, I'm not entirely sure. But if anyone can confirm what happened with that, obviously let us know. This this candle, by the way, is just an issue with Bitstamp's actual um, Bitstamp's chart. This isn't actually an indicative candle. That would be a huge, huge sell order if that was the case. But you can see here, Bitcoin's actually been pumping up whilst ETH has actually been rolling over a little bit. So maybe we could argue that the reason for that is because people are taking profits out of altcoins and putting them back into Bitcoin. And if that was the case, obviously you can see for Polygon here, if we just get the correct chart up, you can see that we've basically started to break out here, trying to find that fractal we were looking for for Bitcoin that we've seen, which is looking something like that. But we broke the uh, the recent the recent descending wedge high, back tested, and now we're moving on. But it looks as though Polygon has yet to do that, and we can see here quite clearly we come up, come back down, and we were starting to get our breakout like this. But we've rolled over with a lot of altcoins like this and basically rolled over and come back into this little range that we've been in for a good while. I mean, you can see here, there's quite a clear range looking something like this. Where you would say potentially, got the Crypto Maximalist chat going on there, by the way. Go and check that out, the Telegram. You can see here, we've obviously got our two fake outs to the upside, back into the range, rolled over, double bottom back test, testing the previous level of support as resistance, but we broke back inside the range looking as though we wanted to break out, but we actually rolled over again, back to the bottom of our range, chopping it sideways, basically waiting for that next move, aren't we? But we think Polygon is underperforming a lot right now. And that makes us feel like sooner or later, we're going to see a really, really big move for a lot of these altcoins that are underperforming. VeChain, another perfect example, obviously, that we cover every single day. Looks as though it's underperforming. So we'll take a look at the short-term price predictions then just to round off. If we roll over from here, you'd probably expect some of these swing lows here to hold a support at around 120. We don't think we're probably going to be seeing many lower prices with Bitcoin pumping up, up as much as it has. We're probably going to start to see a lot of um, altcoins pump as Bitcoin, as profits from Bitcoin are taken and rotated into altcoins fairly soon. We're obviously still looking for that fractal, like we said, that we've seen for Bitcoin, breaking that local falling wedge, back testing it and then moving upwards, which would see Polygon coming up to around that 180-ish level, which would be our target to the upside. If we do start to see ourselves pumping, I mean, if we just throw that Fib retracement tool on this recent move, as we always do. As we can see here, roll over ABC correction down to support in and around that 038. We come back up in and around the 050 here, trying to reclaim it as support. And if we can, you know, start to see that pump up pretty soon, we obviously have that target of that, maybe that 078, which would break this local falling wedge, back test, and then we're obviously moving upwards towards the all time high. So, you know, Polygon underperforming right now, but we really do think five to $10 by the end of the bull run, still very likely a really top quality project. And when it does start to move, it's probably going to move similarly to how it did before. Everyone seems to forget just how crazy this movement was here. 
you know, Polygon's been consolidating for a good while and it's deserving that breakout, so. That's it, guys. We'd like to thank everyone so much for their support. If you've got any questions or suggestions, please leave them down below and don't forget to subscribe and then hit the real subscribe button, which is the bell icon to stay up to date with the four videos that we post every single day. Remember, if you want to support the channel more directly and get a ton of benefits and insight, as well as joining our growing community, consider the Patreon or YouTube membership down below. You can also sign up to our free Telegram via the description as well. All the links are in the description for affiliate links for discounts and free crypto, so go check them all out below. There's plenty of goodness on offer. Please like and subscribe. We are Crypto Maximalists.